it's Alvina, that diva, back here again. Thank you so much for joining me again. It's so nice to see all you beautiful faces or handsome faces. Anyway, so today's video is going to be about what people want to ask a gymnast but don't. Or won't. Either way, same thing. But, you know, us being gymnasts and then people that aren't per se gymnasts looking up from the outside world. Because this is being in gymnastics is like another world, another universe. Just it's just different. So a lot of people always have questions about gymnasts or what we do or how we do certain things or like how certain things work and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be showing you the different types of questions that people want to ask us but are a little bit awkward that, and they don't ask us. So it's gonna be kind of funny. I feel like that. So I hope you guys laugh because I'm gonna laugh internally. Yeah, so let's get into it. It'll be really fun. So like, do you guys get like wedgie? What do you do with your wedgie? Oh, well that's an easy one. Of course we get wedgies. I mean, don't you get wedgies too? Everybody gets wedgies, men, women. And, like if you're wearing underwear, or if you're wearing a bathing suit, you get wedgies, you know, wedgies is just life, you know? So of course, but in a meet, you know, you cannot pull a wedgie because it's a deduction. Crazy, I know. So what do they want, your butt to be out, I guess, and whatever. But you know, there's many different ways that you can help and prevent a wedgie. So one way that we all use is butt glue. So there's, it's kind of like a roll-on deodorant in a sense, but it's very sticky, it, you know? So it's like, you roll it off, and then like you put it like on, and then you put your lead over it, and you like stick it down. And you do on both sides, and then it goes nowhere. The leo just stays there. Sometimes, you know, you have to reapply, but other than that, it's just stuck, and it's like good to go. Oh! You can use hairspray. You know, that's a little bit more messy, but you know, you can put it down, spray, and then like stick it down, and then that works as well. My other question is like, what kind of bra do you guys wear? I see when you guys like compete sometimes, like there's no bra showing, you know? Cause like I remember seeing in like Stick It, then this one girl like pulled her bra out. Um, so I was just wondering like, how does that work? Like I don't see you guys' bra. Actually a really good question. With college gymnastics, or at least for UCLA, we were not allowed to show our bra. I mean, not technically allowed, not allowed to, like we wouldn't get a deduction and stuff like that, but it was just more classy and our coach liked it for us to be like clean and crisp and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we had bras that had clear straps that you could wear and nothing would show, but sometimes we had bra like Leos that went too low or too low in the back that you would see even that, like, and it just wasn't cute. So our team had this really cool, painful, interesting way of our bra. So what we did was, I kind of had an example. We had um, a thing like this, kind of like, uh, I forgot what you call it, you know what you wrap around injuries? Uh, I'm misplacing the word. But you do this and you size it out to what your bust size. But actually, like we had a bigger one, it kind of was like, like longer so that it could fit, <laughs> if that makes sense. Well, this is the only one I could find right now. So we had one like this and you like size it like this and stretch it. Then you would cut it, so then you would only have that piece. And you would keep that piece for like the whole season or for half the season or whatever unless you lost it. And you would wash it obviously just like a bra or whatever. So you would have this and you would keep this wherever you went, any meat or whatever. So you do that, right? Then you had tape. I don't have good tape, but I just got this random tape that I found. So usually use gymnastics tape. So you do this and then you get the tape and you rip it on one side and you stick it down then you rip it on the other side and you stick it down and then you like do one in the middle and so that it really like supported you it wasn't like the, a really great support but you just do that and it's like so much tape so much stickiness you spray sticky stuff on it just was like a lot going on so the funny story is is i actually tried it one time and it was the first time ever i tried it and I went, we like were warming up and I was like going like this and it went and it ripped and it hurt so bad. After that, I never did this whole tape job ever again. And people were like, Sophina, like, oh, I never did that tape job again. So I ended up going like free willy. I did not wear a bra at all in competitions. Um, sometimes like if I 
you know, if the leotard like didn't show a bra, then I would wear a bra. Other than that, I would not wear a bra like ever. So this question is gonna be kind of awkward. What do you guys do about shaving? I don't, you know, like how do you shave or like, you know, cause you're wearing a leotard. Um, well, this is kind of an awkward question, but I feel like maybe people should know. Obviously, as you get older, you got to shave, guys. You have to shave. I mean, you don't have to. If that's just what you want to do, that's what you want to do, you know? Natural. But I, I, I like to be clean. So, you know, shavers, a lot of people use shavers. You know, as you get older, you know, sometimes shaving doesn't work. Sometimes you don't want to shave. Sometimes it's a four o'clock shadow. Any of that shebang, you know. To me, shaving besides armpits, um, and legs, I guess. Uh, it's itchy, and I don't like the whole itchy feeling. And a lot of the gymnasts, a lot of gymnasts, at least in college that I know, say the same thing with shaving as well. So a lot of people would wax, you know. Um, so this is kind of awkward to talk about, but yeah, there's shaving and there's waxing and there's lasering. It just really all depends on your preference. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, I know I keep asking you like some awkward questions, <laughs> but like my friends and I always wanted to ask you guys this question. <laughs> Sorry, okay, hold on. <laughs> so, like, do you guys fart? What? Fart. Oh, farting. Well, you know, just like uh, anything else, you know, everybody farts. If you guys don't say you fart, then you are lying. But everybody farts, okay? That's just the world. You know, you eat something, and something happens, and it has to come out some way. So, yes. Usually, coaches are really um, professional, if that makes sense. They'll act like they didn't hear it or smell it or whatever. But your teammates will start laughing and be like, <laughs> Did you fart? And all that stuff. So, it's a huge joke. But when you're in a meet, no one notices no one cares. It's just like zero in focus. It's as if you like never did it. Ever. Um, so I know you gymnasts have like calluses like on your hands and your feet and stuff like that. Do you guys get mani petties? Like, are you like girly like that? You know, where you get the manis and petties, you know, get your nails done and stuff like that? Well, it just depends on what kind of person you are. I mean, as a regular girl or as not a regular girl or whatever, if you like getting manis and petties. Um, a lot of times, my team members and I would go get manis and petties together. That's how we bonded or whatever. And I'm a, definitely a really girly girl, um, as most people know, because I like sparkles and stuff like that. But um, I love getting manis, I love getting petties. Now the only thing is like, yes, we have calluses, you know. When we get manis, it's fine. Like I normally have short nails with gymnastics, but now that I quit gymnastics, no, I didn't quit. Normally with mani petties, like I, for gymnastics, I would have short nails, um, you know, so things wouldn't get caught. But now that I'm not a full-time gymnast anymore, I really love growing out my nails. To tell you people out there and to tell you, um, we need those calluses. You know, I, I definitely have a long buildup of calluses on my feet. I did gymnastics for 15 years, so I needed those calluses, especially for beam and floor. Honestly, for every single event, so that it could grip. Especially for beam, though, because on beam it's four inches wide, and you really need to grip the beam. So you needed that like roughness to like grasp the beam. And for floor, you didn't want to have super slippery, sweaty feet. You know what I'm saying? So you put chalk on to keep the calluses. Um. So I noticed that like you guys and like gymnasts, whatever, are like really buff. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a little flimsy, but like you know what I mean? Like really buff. Um. How are you guys so buff? Like, do you lift weights? Do you like bench squat and stuff? Or, I don't know like how that all works. Like, how do you get so many muscles? Yeah, so, I don't know about other gymnasts, but me personally, I don't really like to be called like, swole. Buff is okay, but like, I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I'm just extremely a girly girl. I don't like it when people call me like, buff, because then it makes me feel like I'm more manly. But buff is fine, like I like to be cut. Cut, cool, you know, fit, all that kind of stuff. But like swole is the worst, no, no. Never call me that or, I mean, I don't know. It's all about preference as well. I mean, I've been talking about preference this whole time, but yeah. Um, but to answer your question, no, we don't really like lift heavy weights. I mean, maybe some people do, but typically it's all about body weight. You know, body weight pull-ups, you know, push-ups. 
anything is really about body weight. Gymnastics conditioning is a lot different than like anybody else's. We don't typically use that much weights. We'll use like probably max like maybe 20 or 30, no more than 50 for sure, like 25, 25. You know, just like little stuff, little reps or whatever, but nothing to make us like super big. But other than that, it's all about your body all our body weight own strength and that's how we get our muscles um, because it's we're lifting up our own body weight you know so leg lifts there's like I don't know if you know what leg lifts are but it's like when you're like hanging on like bar and like you like lift your legs all the way to the top and down or you can go like halfway and it's a really good core strength just like things like that is all about your body weight and lifting your own body weight is usually <laughs> enough and you get that but sometimes we lift a little bit of weight other than that we're not you know body weight champions or anything like that like do not ask me to lift something heavy first of all I'll feel a little bit too manly for myself anyway so that's kind of how our whole like buffness happens you know <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sophina Bativa and on Twitter at Sophina underscore Dances thank you so much for watching bye